Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good evening, brother. Yes, uh, Louis. How are you? I'm good, man. How are you? Hi. We just had a big day at Waterloo today with the. Uh, we have a have a guest, uh, the father Kamara's wife, had died. Uh, we have the funeral tomorrow. It's also, of course, the Annunciation of the Virgin Mary, which is regarding the liturgy and a funeral, funeral which is. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, look, I just want to ask a couple of questions. Um, we're in the process now of receiving some containers. Yep. Uh, Greece is sending us one, mm -hmm. which they usually send us essentials, uh, which actually save money here. For example, uh, they will send us a whole uh, a whole container, more or less, of food items, uh, rice, tomato sauce, sugar, salt, etc., which we then hand over to our cooks in Waterloo, and it cuts the, the, uh, the price of the cooking by half, uh, because we don't have to buy anything. Uh, they just want to buy a little bit more of their own oil, uh, you know, but it's peanuts compared to what we pay now. So that container, of course, we have to pay to clear it, but at least it's got, it's got a profit. It's got a profit. Now. It's going to be economically a very sound uh, transaction. But now I come to... The container sent from Australia, uh, I believe one of them is uh, some kind of food item, uh, those uh, food items, which is fantastic. It's fantastic. But we're going to have to pay money to get it out. The money for the, out. Yeah, the money for the uh, container from Australia, I've got that. It's sitting in the bank account waiting for uh, uh, the container to arrive and for you to tell me how much it's going to cost. It's only a twenty. Okay. Foot, it's a twenty foot container, not a forty foot container. Okay. All right. Well, that, that is kind of, that's a relief for us because uh, it, while it's very welcome, it's not a priority. Uh, you know, so that's good that that is covered. That is, I didn't know that. Uh, the other issue is we're also getting, I believe, is that the one with the milk powder, the one that's coming now, or is yeah. that? Yeah, no, the one that, that's sent coming from Australia is full of the fruit, uh, the fruit, uh, the pasture, pasteurized fruit and the football gear, soccer gear, you know, footballs and, and jerseys and things like that. Right, I believe there are some musical instruments uh, as well, if I, yeah, am I right yeah, or wrong? You're right, there's uh, tambourines, guitars, electric guitars. You name it, it's there. Right, okay. Well, well, that's good. And if, the, if it's paid for, it's even better. Because, uh, you know, we, we can't afford now to be drawing money out on not essentials. Uh, the other, there's another container, I believe, that's coming with uh, dried milk. Is that right? That hasn't been sent yet. That will not be sent oh, until, until after you come and go because... Mm -hmm. From, okay, now, good, from, good. from now on, instead of sending things by DHL, we will have a, you will deliver it. Whatever you want to take back to Sierra Leone will be delivered to a house good. in Melbourne, and then we'll pack it in the container, and we'll send one container every year of anything that you and Mary want. Good. That's, that's much sound, uh, sounder economics. That's much sounder. Uh, okay, that's good. Uh, now, there was a, uh, a question about that additional 1000 that you sent on the uh, 6K. Is that from Mary's friend? No, I haven't received any money from Mary's friend, okay. right? Okay. Um, uh, one lady, she sent a la uh, an email to one lady who responded, her father, who's a priest, is going to try and send us $10,000, right? No, you're talking about Father Chandafilu. You're talking about yes. the father of the... Yes, uh, yes. And, and the, the, woman, the woman is Urania. Urania, Urania that's it. Yeah, there were two ladies, Urania and Helen Grassic. 
Helen said she's going to send a thousand dollars, and Urania said her father's going to try and send ten thousand. Well, her father, uh, Father Athanasius, has always been very generous with the mission, and usually he sends around about ten thousand uh, while we're away, and then he raises another ten thousand when I come back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're, they're family friends from way back. Okay, well, here is, here is the deal with Father Trandafilu's 10,000 when it finally comes. You're going to need to send it to us as a $10,000, um, um, uh, one lump sum. Uh, nothing to do with the 6,000 or 5,000 we get a month or the, 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 the American 4,000 or 5,000. You need to send that exactly as it is so we can, uh, so we can have a normal life here uh, in terms of the, the demands that are upon our shoulders. I'm now having to pull out of the bank account to be able to, you know, my own personal and Mary, in order to be able to take care of just little things like, um, you know, well, I, I, I shouldn't say little things, but things like unbudgeted deaths, uh, uh, somebody broke their glasses and they can't see it if we don't give it to them. They can't function. Uh, you know, somebody's got a sore tooth. Uh, you know, they need to get the tooth pulled out. Now, it sounds like it's nothing, but these things pile up on us and they put a lot of pressure on us. So, um, if you, when you, when that file is put into our account, just, just send it to us. Exactly at Father Tendafilu. Uh, is depositing it. Okay, that's not a problem. You read my email, you know we're going to run out of money in a couple of months' time. Absolutely, and that is what I tell people here. I tell them that. I said, brothers, we're going to, you don't understand, today I was in Waterloo and the disciple came and said to me, you know, we need money for the school, for the, for the um, sports equipment, and I said, I, I, can't, I can't do anything. And, and, and they, said, they really didn't believe me. They don't believe me. They, they really don't believe me. Uh, they don't understand what has happened. I keep telling them. I have meetings about it. But they're still used to the old ways. They're still used to the old ways, and they can't get it. And now, when you say we're going to run out, you're talking about Waterloo, I think. Is that what you're saying? No, we're talking about the general account. Oh, oh, you're talking about the 5000 Yes. I mean, I'm going to start sending you $6,000 every month, right? It doesn't matter. Well, whether... well, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Uh, you say we've got 20000 in the bank. Is that it? That's it, 22000 Well, then maybe you shouldn't send Father Tendafilo's money then. No, no. Let... I'll send it. I'll send it. What you need to do, brother, is you need to learn to say no to people. Because no, I'll, listen, I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example. So I know, brother, brother. brother. Yeah. No, 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 you don't understand. You don't understand. This is life and death issues. This is not, this is not, it's like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't help you. It's not like that. It's, it's life and death. Like, for example, the other day, Father Stephanos came to me. My wife died. I need money for the funeral. Okay. No, Father, I'm sorry. I uh, can't help you. Next. <laughs> yeah. You, you try that one and see what happens. I, I, I understand. I understand completely, right? I understand completely. The fact is, is that people are relying on you more and more, right? And the funds that you have to run the mission, right, are being depleted quicker every month, every year. And you're going to have to do something about it because there is no more, there's no tree that grows money. Your yeah, decision. Yeah. No, you have I mean, we, understand we understand that. I mean, the other day, Anthea, that, that, was, that, that was really a situation where we really couldn't do what you said. We just couldn't do it. Because what Anthea does is every Sunday she provides us with uh, meals. She's the one that cooks the meals for the churches, runs around distributing the food. 
Um, and what she's asking now is just for us to help her, her studies, and we would say no to her. You understand that it's just not possible. I so do understand. You better understand. And I know, I'm sure you do. But what we are doing is we are saying no. We are saying no. To so many things we are saying no. Uh, I mean, to, to so many requests that I consider are not life and death requests, I say no. I, 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 I want you to go through your salaries again and go through everybody and see who you don't need and see who's a carry-on up or a hang-on up and you need to get rid of people. You need to tell them that the mission can no longer afford their services and when things change, you can put them back on because, brother, you're taking away the let funding. Me, let me explain that to you. Let me, let me walk you through that scenario. Again, you're using Brisbane mentality. Look, uh, you know, people are going to go on welfare. Let me explain it to you. Mm -hmm. The minute I kick somebody out of a job, it's a death sentence. I understand. It's a death sentence. Okay, no, so no, you don't. No, I do. Let, let, let me explain it. My question now, is, is where do we get the money from then? Where do we get the money well, to keep the mushrooms? Problem. I understand. I understand you and you understand me. And therefore, here is what will happen. I will tell someone, you're not really required anymore. They will break down. They will have, uh, you know, they will cry for the next two days. They will hang around the, the compound here, becoming a nuisance. Uh, they will bring their wife here to me crying. Uh, when that doesn't work, they will bring their children. Uh, they will then, it, it, you have no idea the drama that it creates. Um, and essentially, essentially, I'm killing them because they will die. They will die. Mm -hmm. There's not nothing else. There's nowhere to go. There is no safety net here. There is nothing. So what I can only do, you know, for example, there's a guy working for us um, who, you know, comes to all the church services. He helps us with the chanting and everything. And in the past, I've paid his rent. I've given him extra money. Now, he wants me to give him his rent. For the last three months, I said, brother, I can't give you your rent. I can't give it to you. I don't have that money. And essentially, he's going to be thrown out of his house. Uh, he's texting me every day. Do you understand I'm going to be thrown out? I'll be out in the street. You know, uh, wh 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 where do I sleep? You know, and so I, I, I keep saying I can't. I can't help you. But at some point, how do I sleep at night knowing that I've thrown somebody out in the street? Mm -hmm. You see, the problem is, here is the problem. It's not your problem. It's not, it's not you who created it. I didn't create it. What created it was in the past we were blessed with an abundance of just good sponsors, you know, and plenty, uh, particularly with Nico. We, we were blessed with Nico. We were absolutely had no real worry, okay? Um, and, and now, for some reason, God is testing us. Uh, God is testing a lot of things now that we have no money or little money. Uh, and, but one of the consequences of having little money is that, is that people are suffering. Real suffering. It's not like in Australia where... I don't go now into the unemployment office and get myself unemployment benefits. So this is, there is no taking it. Once I get rid of someone, I'm actually saying to him, you go and die quietly now. That's yeah, what I'm saying. I understand that. Yeah, but the me... problem is not yours. And then, let me just finish. Let me just finish. The problem is that we've been used to abundance. And therefore, we created all around us, the feeling of abundance and the feeling that we can help. And now that we cannot help, those who were relying on us because we were helping them now can no longer rely on us, and they know it. And that's, that is where the problem lies, that it's like a rich man who loses his money and he has to close down his factories, he has to close down his uh, workshops, he has to close down his uh, uh, whatever, and our people are now becoming unemployed. But the unemployment in Australia is very different to the unemployment here. In Australia,
but it, it's not a death sentence. It is here. So what, what, I, what I have to do is to ease them out slowly. Mm -hmm. In other words, find a way, find a way of releasing them in a fashion that does not kill them. Like, for example, I may have to give them half a salary while they're looking for a job. I may have to provide them with some extra charity. Instead of giving, say, uh, 700,000 leons a month for the work they do, I may say, look, we don't need you anymore, and I'll give you 250 just to support your family and to be able to live and eat and try to get another job. So in that way, I'm diminishing the cost of... The only thing that has changed... The only thing that's changed is that you're getting three thousand US dollars less at Waterloo. Everything else has remained the same, right? However, it's not the Waterloo that is just suffering. It seems that the general account is suffering as well, right? because we are making up for Waterloo with the, with the general account. But you you were supposed to uh, cut down expenses at Waterloo so that we could. Uh, we we have, brother, without, we, the only way, the only way, I mean, think about it, we give free accommodation, we give free education, we give free food, we give free medicine, we give free medical supplies, we give free medical services. We have to pay big salaries for all that. The only way, if we are going to make it work so that we don't have to uh, you know, shut down Waterloo at, at the present trend is that we have to start charging money for the school and we have to start charging money for our clinic and we have to start charging money for the school fees. Now, once we do that, we can no longer call ourselves really a charity organization. We become like everybody else. And the only difference would be that we are a church and therefore we're providing the gospel, we're providing... Uh, the teachings of Christ to the children, but but we are no different to any other. Everybody, I got to run. I gotta go. So we'll talk again soon, hopefully tomorrow. Okay, God will provide, brother. There's no doubt about that. I don't. You know, that's why I'm not panicking. Okay. I know that. Yeah. All right. Oh, take care. God bless you. God take bless care. you. Bye.